Hello you guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel Joni Loves. My name is Joni. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell. That would be so cool. So today I want to talk about your protective barrier or sometimes referred to as your protective shield or acid mantle. Okay, now how can you tell if that is damaged right now? Because we're in this time of year, we're autumn, winter, when these things occur with a change of weather. But right now, does your skin feel itchy? Does it feel dry? Does it look and feel inflamed? If, as soon as you put any creams onto your skin, does it react really violently? Mm? Or does it just feel not right and you've got an acne breakout going on? You're thinking, what is going on with this skin of mine? Mm -hmm. So if any of those things resonate with you, there's a fair chance that your protective barrier is compromised in some way. Now, what is your skin barrier? Right. So I want you to think about this again, like the bricks in the wall. You've got the outside layer of the skin, which is a stratum corneum. And the stratum corneum is like the bricks in the wall where it's made up of dead skin cells. And holding the dead skin cells together is like mortar like, which is your own ceramides, your own natural moisturizers that hold these dead flattened cells onto your skin. So going back to the epidermis, which is it's got five layers. So you've got the epidermis and the stratum corneum is the outermost layer. The skin, thin cells, skin shells, actually start at the bottom, the basal layer, where they're baby cells. And as they grow through the five layers, they become flattened and more keratinized. And they become this outside hardened um, brick wall I'm, I'm describing. And that really is to protect your body against environmental factors, against invasion from bacteria, viruses and pathogens. So this protective barrier is really, really, really crucial to skin health and body health. Mm -hmm. So how can you tell, or sorry, how can you damage this skin barrier? How can you damage it? Well, I'm going to say that going out without moisturiser is a sure way to damage it. Too much sun exposure, mm -hmm, that'll damage it. If you're on different meds, different medications can actually affect your skin barrier too. And, you know, like acne medications, if you're putting on acne creams on top, that can make your skin really dry, flaky and over, over dry, over sensitive. Mm -hmm. Even using um, an exfoliant daily are you using a daily exfoliant right now when skin is naturally becoming drier and it's drying it out further? That can agitate your skin or even the usual things that we know about perfumed products. There, I've said it again, perfumed products or some essential oils, they can absolutely damage the outside layer. So it's crucial to know and really find out what is your trigger. And once you do that, avoid it, okay? And now I'm going to say to you about what you have to think about when you know about this skin barrier function. So the skin barrier is important because it functions and its job is to keep us healthy inside. Uh -huh. And it also, apart from fighting off bacteria and pathogens and not let them enter, it also holds in your own water content, mm -hmm. your water inside your body. So that's another one of its jobs, right? So think about those bricks in the wall. If it's damaged, the bricks in the wall could be open. There could be cracks in it, which is the fair chance if you get dry skin, there'll be those little cracks in it. And that's allowing your own water to disappear and come out of your skin. And that's drying up further, causing dryness, flakiness, dehydration. Mm, okay. So also over cleansing can cause this. You know, I said over exfoliation, but over cleansing it, if you're one of these people that are cleansing your skin too much, that can also pull so much of the dead skin off that it's drying it up. Remember that, that when you're taking your dead skin off through cleansing, over exfoliating, anything like that, you're also taking a layer of your own moisturizers out. Aha, uh -huh. and if you keep doing that too often, you know, we can see it and think about that just now when we're washing our hands during this COVID time, this COVID reality where you're washing your hands umpteen times a day, uh -huh. And if you're using a normal soap, you'll feel it, you know, after several times your skin feels really dry and some of us will be getting, using all these things, we'll be using, getting these sort of hacks in between, like dry skin and it's your hands, some people will be sitting there just now thinking, that's me, I've got those dry hands. So 
Think about your skin then, this protective barrier, and thinking about all the things you can do. Mm -hmm. So, five strategies. Before I, I speak about that, to let you have another bit of information is that the pH balance of skin, okay? And once you get that, you'll know what to look for. So, you've got this 1 to 14, which is a pH scale, okay? In the middle is 7, which is neutral. 1 to 7 is your acid your acid side and we've got skin which healthy skin is a pH of approximately 5.5 anything above skin I have any above skin anything above seven is alkaline now the fact is that a lot of products and a lot of these detergent cleansers and a lot of soaps go right up the scale to a pH of 10 which is alkaline so you can imagine if you use products or soap that is stripping this amazing acid mantle and therefore you're damaging your own protective barrier mm -hmm. so if that's you you better be listening to this video you do so here are five things i want you to think about now okay number one keep your skincare routine simple if you're using a basket load of products on your face you know eight products at a time no, 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 no. Strip it right back and you need to be thinking about that. If your skin's very inflamed, you really have to keep it cleansing, cleansing it and moisturising it. And I would say just those two things, a cleanser and a moisturiser. Okay, and I'll put some links down below of products that you can consider. But even thinking if it's really bad, this inflammation you've got going, if it really feels nippy when you put anything on it, just using lukewarm water and cotton pads, for instance, lukewarm water, a, a face flannel, a soft one. Notice I say soft and gentle. Using that just with the water to cleanse your skin may be all you can do just now, right? And then always everything should be gentle when you're touching your skin. Simple routine, but everything should be gentle. No harsh, you know, movements on your skin. Keep everything and pat it gently dry. Treat it like a sensitive baby skin, okay? So, number two, look for products and think about soaps and things like that that are pH balanced. So, for example, on the body, on the hands, if you've got this dry skin going on here, okay, thinking about the only soap I like, and I honestly haven't got shares in this company, is Dove Soap. Dove Soap is 100% pH balanced, you know, the hard soap. Mm -hmm. So looking for that and keeping that as your wash off soap for the bath, the shower and at the sink. Okay, but looking for products that are pH balanced, always checking that. Right. So next, what I want you to think about is using a plant oil. Plant oils are great. I love plant oils and using them to really keep your skin moisturized because we're trying to replenish this moisture aren't we so you've lost moisture and dry and flaky and infl inflammation going on all of that and we want to put moisturizer to really get this protective barrier intact again so i do love jojoba i love coconut oil i love almond oil and i do love rosehip seed oil i love that and looking for those ingredients in a product uh, where it's moisturizing and a cleanser for example with that with a couple of those and it would be really great to use and even moisturizers with plant oils okay so plant oils are very soothing and you also find plant oils apart from being soothing and really they're antibacterial okay and also they're usually anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. So, and look for anti-inflammatory things, that's the way to go. So look for products also that contain ceramides. Now, you know, we've got the dry skin going on, it's dry and sensitive, and you need to replenish the moisture, get this moisture barrier working. So looking for ceramide-rich creams and lotions, okay? Those, when you put them on, are going to make a real difference to your skin because they'll be feeding that barrier again and help, you know, helping it to heal almost, thinking like that, okay? And another thing I want you to think about is adding humectants into your skincare. Now, I've mentioned humectants before, and we're using humectants, thinking about ingredients like um, hyaluronic acid. I mean, I just adore hyaluronic acid, I do. And we use hyaluronic acid 
and put it on. I'm just using one just now to show you. When you put something on, a cream or a moisturiser that has hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, a humectant means it draws moisture from the air into the skin and from inside the body. It keeps that top layer hydrated and that's what you're trying to do. So humectants such as hyaluronic acid, glycerin and honey, okay, these are all great things to look for in ingredients, okay, to keep the skin barrier getting moist and feeding it again, nourishing it again. So what else? So the bottom line, what is the bottom line here? Your skin barrier is super important because it absolutely protects your body and you know all your inside your health your health from invasion from environmental factors like viruses pathogens all of that so it's really important to look after it it really is a way to you think about if that is good then you're going to be a healthy person okay so it's ultra important this barrier to really look after it especially just now in autumn and winter what else do you want to know about it really protecting it making sure you're using products that absolutely feed it okay keeping it intact and look you know keeping it as soothing and calm as possible so all your movements on it gentle movements patting it all gently that all plays a part and i'm always going to say that the last thing is really you should be using a sunscreen when you go outside i need you to think about a mineral sunscreen as helping to be another barrier on top to protect your barrier okay so a lot for you to think about okay and if you've got any questions about your skin remember you can email me at info at glformulations.com now if you're using anything at all that you have really loved during autumn winter time for your skin that's helping to repair your barrier if there's a cleanser or something that you think is absolutely great, put it in the comments below because it's all about sharing knowledge on this channel. It is and getting everybody to have a healthy skin. So I hope that was information for you. That was good and you got something from that today. I want you to have a great week and take care of yourself. Bye.